On Gearbox today, I'm joined by Eddie Welch from Jans. Eddie, welcome. Thanks, Jimmy. You've brought some new toys along today. ETC has released the Source 4 LED. They have. This is the new Source 4 LED profile. Okay. So. Now, we've got a couple of different ones sitting here on the bench. Yep. On, uh, run us through. Over here, we've got the tungsten version, which is your 3000 Kelvin only version. In the centre here, in our nice white colour, we've got the Lustre Plus version, which is the X7 colour system from Celador. So you've got, um, this is your the theatrical colour based um, uh, engine in the back here. And then you've got your daylight version here, which is the 5600 Kelvin version. Okay, cool. Now being Source 4, they are compatible with the existing lens barrels, but there's a new lens barrel available? Yeah, so this back half here is your new um, LED Source 4 engine. Mm -hmm. from, this, from this portion forward, what you have here is you've got your standard Source 4. So it's your standard Source 4 shutter barrel, and then your standard Source 4 lens sits in that. So all of the Source 4 lenses fit this, so all of your standard inventory of Source 4 fixed beam and zoom lenses, plus all of your EDLT lenses for the best results. Mm -hmm. and then EDLT being? The, the Enhanced Definition Lens Tube. Yep. So for all of your enhanced crisp gobo projections. We like acronyms. <laughs> yeah, we do, we do. And then the, the only one that's different is in the 50 degree. So the 50 degree has an LED only lens tube. Okay. Yep. And uh, similar or same range of, of uh, fixed and zoomable lens options and so on? Yeah, exactly the same, all the way from your 5 degree all the way up to your 90 degree lenses, and then you've got your two zoom lenses as well. Okay, yep. and our, our last fitting here is the daylight version. Yep. Um, now all of these can run in studio mode as well as sort of live mode, I guess? Yeah, so all of these have a, um, the luster, which is your coloured array in the centre here, has a white light only mode, a studio mode. Mm -hmm. They all have a, a standalone mode as well. So they've got all of the what, the, what the fitting is, it's a merge of the Desire fittings, the Desire colour control, the X7 system, and all of their smarts on board of that, merged with the optics of your standard Source 4. So it's inherited the same menuing system? Exactly the same. DMX channels? Yep, exactly the same DMX modes, exactly the same back panel. You've got the same intuitive menu display that you mm -hmm. have on the Desire fixtures. And then you've got all of your Desire smarts as well, like your redshift, your um, regulated output, and no, um, all, of your, uh, all of your incandescent dimming curves and your... Okay, and you'll notice uh, in, in this particular application uh, we, we did a comparison with a, a cheap LED fixture versus one of the Source 4 LEDs and, and there's no flicker at all on camera on the Source 4. Yeah, and on top of that you've also got your output frequency adjustment for all of your studio um, and on-camera stuff, so you've got um, between 900 and 1500 hertz of adjustment there. Okay, and thermal management, um, I can't actually hear a whole lot in the way of noise coming off these right now. Yeah, so they are fan cooled, but you've got, um, so what you have is you have three, you have three standard fan modes, a fast, medium and a slow. Mm -hmm. You've also got an auto fan mode where it'll just regulate the temperature of the LEDs itself and of course your DMX fan mode as well, so you can shut that fan off when you need to. Okay, and obviously the chip block will protect itself if it gets too hot. Yeah, exactly. Uh, depending on which mode you've yep. selected, you can tell it either to uh, sort of scale back its output when it needs to and so on. Yeah, so you've got three modes of thermal, soft thermal protection in the fixture as well. A boost mode, which turns all of that thermal protection off and only just protects the LEDs when they get to that certain point of um, thermal cutoff. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a regulated mode and a protected mode where they slightly drop back the output to protect the LEDs. Okay. What sort of output uh, can, can we compare this to, I guess, in a, in a standard tungsten fixture? Yeah, you're looking at um, ETC state of 575 watt at 120 volts. So you're looking at around, uh, in, our, in our 240 volt range, you're kind of looking around between our 575 and 750. So around this old 650 watt profile range for this luster version, and then it goes up for the, um, the, the, the daylight and the tungsten. So you're looking at about almost 4,000 lumens for the luster version, and then all the way up to over 6,000 lumens for the daylight. Pretty so, decent output. Yeah, no, great output. And, and a, coupled along with that, you've got that brilliant Source 4 optics in the fixture. So you've got your sharp, straight shutter cuts and your crisp gobo projection. Yeah, we, we've got a gobo running in one of these at the moment. It looks fantastic. Yeah, and the great thing about that, especially in the daylight engine, because of that crisp LED source, the gobo projection is actually cleaner in the daylight than in your standard Source 4, which is actually wow. a, a pretty nice feature. That's pretty cool. Now, in terms of weight, was it about eight, eight, nine kilos? Yeah, you're looking at 8.3 kilos for the unit, including the lens barrel. Okay, so. that's, that's not much at all. And physically, it looks 
pretty much the same as the Source 4. It fits into the same sort of footprint on a lighting bar. Yeah, exactly. Um, ETC have spent a lot of time trying to make, they have a hybrid philosophy on LED so that your conventional lights will work with the LED fixtures as well and it's part of a complete hybrid rig. So part of that is keeping the same um, chassis size as the Source 4. So it's only slightly deeper here to uh, in incorporate the electronics in it. So it's, okay. it fits in your same kind of truss rigs. So it's, it's nice for a staggered integration into a venue, for instance, where exactly. you can put these in and they won't look physically any different. In fact, I, I'm struggling to see any difference with the output from this to a normal source. Yeah, source. the tungsten version is very, very good. That's yeah. very cool. Um, black, white and silver? Yep, so you've got the three colours, black, white and silver, same as your standard source 4. Okay. And cool. then, yeah, so that's the source 4 LED. From ETC.